Welcome everyone to a new video of SpaceX update. These are really exciting times for SpaceX fans and the whole space community. After the first round of successful static fires of both the Booster 7 and S24 on Tuesday, SpaceX will conduct the next round of static fires tomorrow. The road closure has been scheduled from 10 a.m. till 10 at night. An overpressure alert has been handed out to the local residents of Boca Chica Village. This time we don't know how many engines will be fired up. Last time it was two engines on the ship and a single engine on the booster. I bet you don't want to miss any events developing toward the first Starship orbital test flight. Talking about the test flight, another big news is coming up. SpaceX has filed a new application to FCC to provide a radio license for its upcoming Starship test flight, including the recovery of the booster. But remember, this is not a launch license. The launch license has to come from the FAA. I assume the FCC deals more with the communications going in and out of the vehicle during the flight. But it is clearly stated in this document that the launch date lies sometime between September 1 and March 1 next year. So, if all the static fires go smoothly, we can expect a test flight starting next month. The sixth segment of the Starship launch tower at Cape has now been stacked on top of the previously stacked fifth segment. SpaceX team at Cape is working with some impressive speed. Last year there was nothing here, but now we have a Starship launch tower nearing its full height and another orbital launch mount under construction. Next year we may see work starting on the propellant tanks farm. We have a static fire tomorrow. Don't forget to check out my channel for the latest SpaceX news.